Good morning. Today is Monday. It is the 10th day of Adar. And we continue today in the chapter 32 in the Tanya. As again, the 32 in Hebrew is Lamed Beis Lev. Lev means the heart. It is the heart of the Tanya. It is a very, very important chapter where the Alter Rebbe explains how, how we are able to love a fellow Jew just like we love ourselves. And that's what we learned yesterday, that um, the way to do it is when you realize what is the true you. When you focus on the true you, that what, who are we? Are we our animalistic soul, or what is the true, true me, the godly soul? So when a Jew focuses on the real self, and it puts the emphasis, the, uh, the emphasis on the nefesh elikis and the godly soul, then this is the only way that you can get to love your fellow just like yourself. Because when it's not about your animalistic things, if you focus on your animalistic desires, then of course you're, you're selfish, you're number one. That's, that's how we are created. That's how we are born. That's who we are. But when we focus and we realize that there's something deeper to ourselves, and that is the neshama, the godly, the nefesh alakis, then you understand that the fellow next to you has just the same neshama that you have. And when you help the, the other person, you're helping yourself. It doesn't, doesn't take away from you. On the contrary, it only makes you stronger. So that's what we learned yesterday. The mitzvah of Avas Yisrael. Today, the Alter Rebbe is going to address a question now we do find in the Torah that in certain situations it is okay to hate another, another Jew. Sounds very surprising, but it does, it does say that. And we have to make sure to clarify what exactly that means. And by the end of the class today, we'll understand that really hate, there is no place to hate. And we have to understand what it means when the tale says that it is okay to hate another person. So of course, first of all, we have to understand the mitzvah of Ahav Asesol, the love of fellow Jew, is to each and every one, especially the way Hasidus teaches, the way uh, the Rabbein, the Rebbes taught, there was once when the Fidike Rebbe, the previous Rebbe, was asked, how come he, he shows love and affection to Jews that are totally going against the Torah, against God, and so on and so forth. And it says in the law that you have to hate those people, you have to. So the Fidike Rebbe told them, these laws, where does it say? Regarding those Jews, it's in the very last part of the Shulchan Aruch, of the Code of Jewish Law. That means that the Torah tells you, you got to first learn everything else. When you understand everything else until then, and you get to the very, very last part, then you know exactly what that means, and when and what circumstances that is talking about. So what is it talking about? What are we talking about? When is it okay? Ever. Is it ever okay to hate another Jew? And al Rebbe is going to explain that it does, we're talking about, first of all, what type of Jew are we talking about? We're talking about a Jew who went together with you in yeshiva and you're studying Torah. He is, he's a scholar. He knows exactly everything. And he goes and he makes a mistake. 
and you're pointing out his mistake. And still he goes and again, after you pointed out the mistake, he goes and he, go, and he does against God. There, under, circum circumstan under those circumstances, it is a mitzvah to hate the bad of that person. Because this is a person who knows everything. We're not talking about today's yeshiva boys. Today's yeshiva boys, yeah, even if we go to yeshiva, there's still a lot that they don't know. And if they fall off, it's because they have such a strong evil inclination. Now, when we're talking about the yeshiva, we're talking about a person that is really, really completely godly and, know, and knowledgeable, and then he goes against, that's a different story. But a person that he doesn't have that background, is not your friend in, in yeshiva, didn't go to, you're not studious as you, then there is no room at all to hate. There's only a mitzvah to love. Let's see how the Alter Rebbe says in this, in today's Tani. Says the Alter Rebbe, Ma as for the Talmudic statement that if one sees a friend sinning, he should hate him. Also, he should relate to his teacher to also tell him that the teacher should hate him. How? Is that how does this conform with what we said above that we have to love every each and every one? So the Alter Rebbe first says, number one, you gotta know what type of Jew are we talking about? Hainu This applies only to one to one's companion, not one's equal in the study of the Torah and observance of the mitzvahs. Talking about a person who knows everything or learned everything. In addition to that, the kvakiem boy mitzvah seichiach teichiach esamisecha. He is also fulfilled with him, with the sinner, the injunction, the mitzvah, that you should repeatedly rebuke your friends. In other words, you went to this person, you told them again and again and again what you're doing is wrong. And nevertheless, this person, again, we're talking about a misecha, your friend, the Alter Rebbe brings from that word, a misecha. Says the Gemara that im she'itcha b'teira mitzvah, you're talking about a friend that is with you in teira mitzvahs, means in, this is a person in your level in the, in the Torah mitzvahs. Nevertheless, nevertheless, he refused to go to re repent from his sin. As it is written in the Sefer Charedim. But as to one that is not his companion, if we're talking about a Jew who is not in your level, in the level of the ultimate scholar, Torah observer, the Einem Akurvetzla is not intimate, an intimate turn with him, an intimate terms with him. Ine alze Omar Hilalazakain. Regarding such a person, there is a saying, the, the citation of Hilal the Elder. Hilal the Elder. Azakain. Why does it say Hilal the Elder? Why is it important his age? But well, here we're talking about the Hillel the, the elder, meaning that he's the sage of the Jewish people. That the statement that he says is something that needs to be welcomed and, and accepted by all Jewish people. What did he say? He says, be one of the disciples of Aaron, loving peace and pursuing peace, loving creatures and drawing them near to the Torah. What are we talking about? 
We're talking about the, the mitzvah, uh, the story with Aaron Akoyim, Aaron, the brother of Moshe Rabbeinu. He was a person of peace. And he was always loving peace and, and, and getting people closer to the Torah. The Gemara says, how, how did he do it? One of the ways he would do it, says the Gemara, it says, oh, have shalom. He loves shalom. What is shalom? Shalom is peace. Shalom is also in Hebrew. You say hi, you say shalom. You say bye, you say shalom. So Hila, I mean, I'm sorry, Aaron, Aaron the Cohen, Aaron the priest, he always greeted people. He greeted people, everybody. He greeted them with shalom. He said shalom. He, may, he said hello to them. Good morning. How are you? Each and every person. When a person saw him in the morning and he sees that great sage Aaron, the priest, the high priest comes and greets me and says hello to me, this made him feel special. And if that person had something that he was doing wrong, he felt bad. You know, this great sage now greeted me. Tomorrow is going to see me again. Is going to say hello. I better behave better. I better do act like a better Jew. I can do something good. This is what he did. Oh, have shalom. He loved peace. And he did only peace. And then, oh, ever tabriot, says the Alter Rebbe. He loved the creatures. He doesn't say love the people. Love the creatures. Why does he say love the creatures? Because Aaron loved even such people that had no virtues to themselves whatsoever. They were so terrible. They were so bad. The only thing you can say about them is that they're creatures of God. Even those people. Aaron loved and Aaron said hello to them. He made him feel special and he, that's how he brought them back to the table. That's what Alter Rebbe continues. Says the Alter Rebbe, Loima, this is to say, that even such people that are so far removed from the Torah of God and the service of God, and this is why they are classified simply as creatures. Nevertheless, one must attract them with strong cords of love. And perhaps thereby one will be able, after all, to draw them close to the Torah and the service of God. So the, such people that are not in the level of great uh, scholars and Torah observers, people that are lower, less than that, your mitzvah, your obligation is to draw them with cords of love. And perhaps you'll be able to bring them back to, Ju to Judaism, bring them back to the Torah and serving God. And what happens if not? What happens if you try everything, you invite them for the Kiddush and you give them kugel and cholent and you do everything possible and yet they go on their ways. They don't budge, not even an inch. Says the Alter Rebbe, the Hain Law. And if not, if you didn't succeed to bring them back to, to serve God and to do, learn Torah, nevertheless, says the Alter Rebbe, you didn't miss the mitzvah of loving the fellow Jew. That itself is a mitzvah. So you fulfill the mitzvah, you love the fellow Jew. The Hain Law says the Alter Rebbe, lo yhivsitzcha mitzvahs ahavaz rein. He has not forfeited the merit of the mitzvah of neighborly love to love your fellow. Now, okay, so here with that's this is the end with the with the people that are not. Basically, people are not in the great Torah scholars. There is only one thing to do, only to love them. There's no room to hate them whatsoever. Who is the mitzvah to hate? In certain circumstances, only those who are Talmudic scholars 
and they know everything and you try and they made a mistake which your mistake is something needs to be fixed and you try to fix it and you try again and again and they didn't listen then it says you got to hate the part of them and that's what al Rebbe is saying now furthermore it says even those who one is enjoying is a mitzvah to hate he rebuked them they did not return from the way, from the sins. They did not repent. which in that case is a mitzvah to hate them. Mitzvah Nevertheless, as Alter Rebbe, one is obligated to love them too. The question is, how is it possible? How is it possible to love and hate at the same time? And here comes al Rebbe and says that we have to realize we cannot, we cannot be in the, the way society today, I mean, in, even in today's politics, there's such extremes. Either you love Trump or you hate Trump. You love Biden or you hate Biden. We have to realize this. He, the Rebbe comes and tells over here that you have to know how to differentiate. You hate the bad things, but in the same time, you can still love them for who they are. You don't, you don't have to hate the person, the completely the person. There is bad things in each, in each person. Every person has some bad. So that's what Alter Rebbe says here. There is a mitzvah to love them, even those people that there is a mitzvah to hate, hate them for the bad that is in them. But in the same time, don't forget, you have to love them as well. Says the Alter Rebbe, mitzvah avam gamken is also a mitzvah to love them. Ushteyen hein emes. And both the love and the hatred are truthful. We're not talking about fake love and fake hate. You truly hate the bad. It says, Those emotions, in case the hatred is in the account of the evil within them. While the love is on the account of the good hidden that is hidden in them. There is good in them. This is the divine spark within them that animates the, the divine soul. And finally, the Alter Rebbe says another thing. Those people who you see, you try to bring them back, those people, we're talking about those scholars, the Torah scholars, that you, that it didn't help and you see they're continuing the bad ways. Says the Alter Rebbe, even though there is a mitzvah to hate, you have to love them in the same time, but also to bring out the compassion. When you feel compassion to those people, then the love will overwhelm the hate. The gam that says the Alter Rebbe Le'oyre Rachamim Belibayeleo, one must also arouse compassion on the divine soul of the sinner. Why? As we learned in the previous chapters, Kihi bi'pchinas golus b'toicha ramesitra acha agoyver ala b'rashayim. Because in the case of the wicked people, it is in exile within the evil of the sitra acha. The godly neshama, the godly soul, is in exile. It is in jail in the body because a person's selfish desires overcomes himself. And that godly spark within them that wants so much to be connected with Hashem, it wants so much to do good, but it can't. It is trapped in the gullus, in exile of the body. And that's why you, you, you bring out pity and mercy and compassion on those and this godly neshama. Compassion banishes hatred and arouses love. But even if you have the hatred towards the bad, but the compassion overwhelms and arouses the love that you have. 
Kanoida Mimasha Kasu. As it says, it is known what it says in the prophets, Isaiah, that says, Le Yaakov Asher Podo Esavraham. That Yaakov, who redeemed Avraham. What does that mean? Yaakov redeemed Avraham. Yaakov is, was Avraham's grandson. How could he redeem Avraham? But it is explained in Hasidus that Yaakov represents compassion. Avram represents love, Yitzchak represents the judgment, strictness, and Yaakov represents compassion. So sometimes the love is hidden, but the compassion reveals the love. When you have compassion, it reveals the love, and the love becomes overpowered. This is redeeming, means revealing the hidden love that is from Avram. Now says the Alter Rebbe, we do find a case in the Tehillim that King David says, Tachlis sina sinesim. I hate them with a complete hatred. What did the King David say? He said it, Elo alaminim v'apikosim she'enlem chelek v'leike Yisrael. This was only said to those Jewish people who are heretics and Atheists, we're not talking about atheists of today. An atheist of today is not an atheist. A heretic of today is not a heretic. An atheist, a meaning that those people who knew everything, they knew everything. Atheists of today, they don't, they just, they don't know. They didn't learn, they didn't learn Hasidus. They didn't learn the Torah, they didn't learn the Gemara. When you learn and you know and you, and you, aware of everything, and still you go and, and, and go against Hashem. This is what King David said, that he, that he hated him. That they don't have share in, in the God of Israel. In the Shabbos, it says in the Talmud, beginning of tractate of Shabbos. But any sinner who is not, however, a heretic, must not be hated with a, with a complete hatred. For the mitzvah of Avas Yisrael embraces him as well. It's interesting, even in the Talmud, it says also how much the, the mitzvah of loving a fellow Jew, even a Jew, it says even when a person goes and is, uh, the, uh, he did committed a capital punish, uh, sin, a sin with a capital punishment, and which is a very rare thing in, in, in the rabbinical court, but even as such a person that is about to be executed for the terrible things that he did, the Talmud says, there's a, there's a whole discussion how, what way to kill him. They have to find the, 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 the best way to execute him, the less painful way, the less humiliating way. Why? Because there's a mitzvah of a half tolereach ha love your fellow Jew. Even such a person, you still have the mitzvah of loving your fellow Jew. So, that, so this is what do we take from today's lesson. This is the end of the lesson. What we take from today's lesson is that there is every single Jew we have to love. Even those people, even those extreme cases where the Torah says that there's a mitzvah to hate them, as we said before, even those people you have to love. And you have to know how to separate. They hate the bad within them. But to love them and ultimately the love Trumps hate, and this will bring us all together and bring us all together to the redemption as we celebrate this month, this week, the Purim, the redemption of the Jewish people, and the, ultimately the redemption of the Geula, Amitas, Vashleim, the complete redemption with Mashiach. Thank you so much for joining. Sharing is caring. Make sure to share this class with your fellows. And join us again tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock. We're open now for questions.